សត្រីនឹងកុមារជាច្រើនត្រូវបានគេបង្ខំ ដោយបង្ខំនៅកម្ពុជាយ៉ាងណាក្តីកកាស្ទង Brune, Satirana Road Africa, Gandal, Afghanistan, Mauritania, Sudan, Kangtbong, Pakistan, Cambodia, and Prote, Iran. Take a minute to think about this. There are approximately 40.3 million men, women, and children living in the world who are victims of modern slavery. It is incomprehensible that any slavery exists today. So how can the number be so high? Now, in its fourth edition, the 2018 Global Slavery Index is the world's most vigorous study of this crisis. It measures the prevalence of modern slavery, country by country, the risk factors that make people vulnerable, and each nation's response to this crime. This global picture of the problem is matched by clear steps to combat modern slavery and an urgent call to action for all governments. Importantly, this year, as well as examining where modern slavery is perpetrated, the 2018 edition exposes where the products of crime are sold and consumed. The headlines. The wealthy G20 countries are importing 354 billion US dollars worth of at-risk products each year. The US is responsible for 145 billion dollars of these imports. Businesses and governments must examine supply chains to eliminate modern slavery. Those leading the way include China, Brazil, France, Germany, Italy, the UK and the United States. But more than half of the G20 countries are yet to act on this. Of the 40.3 million people in modern slavery, women and girls make up 71% of victims. The index also reports on prevalence of forced sexual exploitation and forced marriage. Unsurprisingly, the countries with the highest prevalence of modern slavery are those with state-imposed forced labour. In North Korea, one in ten people is in modern slavery, forced to work by the state. But there is some encouraging news in the data. In 2018, 36 countries are taking steps to investigate forced labour in business or government supply chains, compared to only four in 2016. The governments taking the most action to respond to modern slavery are the Netherlands, the United States and the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, North Korea, Libya and Eritrea are taking the least. Countries with very poor responses to the problem, despite their wealth and resources, include Qatar, Singapore, Kuwait, Brunei and Hong Kong. No country is immune to modern slavery. We must work together across borders to fight this transnational crime. By measuring and working with industry, governments, communities and survivors and reforming global supply chains, we can set millions free. Find out more at globalslaveryindex.org.